So we're going to do a quick demonstration of computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing as it relates to doing something with a CNC machine. And the software we use is called VCarve Pro, and here it is. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a, a name plaque for my friend Sarah. <clears throat> we may never actually make this in, uh, in real life, but let's see how we would do it with the software. So we're going to create a new file, and this is a bit like it's actually very like using any sort of graphic software you've ever used with a computer. Uh, if you're using something like uh, Adobe or Corel or um, Illustrator, you have to say what size paper you're using. Well, we're using wood, so we not only say what size uh, width and depth it's got, but also how thick it is. And I'm going to go with what we've got here, six by four, half an inch thick and away we go. And there's our piece of wood. And here's all our various design tools, the same sort of thing you'd expect to see in any design software. You can do circles and ovals and squares and polygons and stars and text and various other things. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to have Sarah's name in the middle, fancy board around the edge, and then round the outside of that we're going to cut away so that the final plaque is not 6x4, uh, it'll be a little bit smaller than that. So uh, let's start off by putting in a rectangle which represents where we're going to cut out. Uh, and it's going to be square. Actually, maybe we'll have curved corners on it. it gives it a bit more sense of where we're going to cut it out. And uh, let's say that's going to be... Um, well, let's create that at that size. Oh, no, we want it much bigger than that. Uh, so what we will do is we will select that and we will scale it. We'll make it a bit more like this and see how that looks on the piece of wood. We'll close it and center it on the piece of wood. I think we may be just a little bit too close to the edge here. The thing to think about is that we're going to use a metal bit which has got a particular size. We're used in computer graphics to thinking of lines that have infinitesimal size, but in manufacturing you don't have that. So I think we need to give this a bit more size. So I will bring that in a little bit, bring that in a little bit. That feels a little bit more comfortable. And bring this in a little bit and then let's recenter it. Yeah, that's more like it. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a border around uh, Sarah's name. This is going to cut all the way through, but the border is just going to be um, in sort of engraved. So, we're going to do that, but we'll have internally radius corners which look a bit interesting. Let's create that and come on, move. Let's move that sort of something like that a bit. And let's scale it, sort of bring that down there a bit. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, let's center that just so that we have a sense of where it fits. That's fine. And then we'll put Sarah's name in the middle, which is going to be in a text box. For some reason, I understand it takes forever in a day. There we go. Uh, so we'll say Sarah. And let's put it uh, in the middle. And... Uh, I've tried that text before, it looks a bit uncomfortable. Let's see if we can go for good old times, New Roman. Uh, there we go. And apply that and close it and move it. Yeah, and we'll make it a bit bigger. Yeah, that doesn't too, look too bad. And let's center that again. Good, I think that'll work out fine. So that's the design part of this. But what about the manufacturing? 
if this was um, word processing, then what we would expect to come out on the piece of paper is exactly what we see here. But we're not printing on a piece of wood, we're carving a piece of wood. And the way we carve this line is going to be different from the way we carve this line because the outer line is actually going to cut all the way through, whereas this is just a pattern. And we're going to cut the pattern of Sarah's name as well. So we need to say what tools we're going to use. And that's the manufacturing plant. So we click a little button and we come over here. And let's do the name first. So we select the name. And we say we're going to, this is what we're going to do. We're going to V-carve. And we say, where are we going to start? Well, where we're going to start is on the surface of the wood, a depth of zero inches. And we're going to carve down, uh, I'm going to try 0.15 inches. And what tool are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the 60 degree V-bit. So that's quite a sharp uh, bit there. And various things that you need to know about if I was teaching you to do this, but this is just a, an illustration. And I think that will do. And we'll calculate it. And we will then have a look to see what this looks like now. So there you go, you can actually see the tool cutting that out. It gives a good sense of what CNC is all about. Excellent, well that's that line. So let's go back now and have a look at this line. What I want to do, let's close that. What I want to do here is what's called profiling. And it's a 2D profile. And I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to cut quite shallowly. In fact, I'm only going to cut 0.1 of an inch. And which tool am I going to use? I'm going to use a tapered bull nose. What we had been offered was a tool that's got an absolutely flat bottom. But that's not what I want to do. I want to use this tapered ball nose. And here it's asking me, do I want to cut on the outside of this line? Do I want to cut on the inside of this line? Or do I want to cut on the line? And I want to cut on the line. And don't want to do any of that. So let's see how that would look. Wonderful. Just what I want. That looks super. So. Uh, close that. And lastly, what I want to do is this line, I want to cut all the way through. Uh, I want to cut all the way through 99%. But if because I am cutting through, if I cut through all the way through, when it's finished, this middle piece will be loose from the outer piece, the actual piece of wood in the machine will be fixed to the machine and we'll probably just stick screws through these four corners to hold that. So when we finish in cutting this, this middle piece will be loose and will rattle around and we could get in big trouble. So we'll cut through all except some little tiny bits. So let's see how to do this. Uh, we're going to cut through 0.51 inches to make sure that we have actually cut all the way through. Uh, we are going to use uh, an end mill. And we're going to do all that, but we want to add tabs. Now, to edit the tabs, we're going to have four tabs, uh, and it's decided where it's going to put them. And I would prefer that they were a bit further away from the corners. But apart from that, that's fine. Close, calculate. It's warning me that I'm cutting all the way through. That's fine. I don't mind about that. And let's reset everything now and preview Oh, and let's make it a little bit faster because we'll be still be here at Christmas otherwise. And let's preview all the tool paths. So it will cut that. Then it will stop and I will change the tool and it will do that. And then it will stop and it will change the tool again. And you'll notice it cuts, takes several passes there to cut through. Um, but then when it's finished, if we look, you can see the tab there. 
you can see the tab there we can actually turn the wood over so you can see the tabs and there would be Sarah's nameplate and that's what it would look like when we actually cut it out on the piece of wood and now what we do is we save that send it to the machine put the piece of wood in the machine and actually cut it out and that's computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing using a CNC router.